Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to our English lesson. Today, we're going to be answering questions about the Iron Man. This week in particular, we'll be focusing on poetry. So I'll be reading you a poem, and later this week, you'll be creating your own Iron Man poems. The Iron Man stood on the brink of the cliff, tall as a house, all rigid and stiff. His great iron head turned left and right as he stood on the cliff in the dark of night. His headlamp eyes searched far and wide. His iron ears listened to the swell of the tide. Where he had come from, no one knows. But there on the cliff, where the seagulls rose, the iron man stood with the wind in his face. Then he lifted a foot and stepped out into space. Crashing, crashing, thrown about till his legs fell off and his eyes fell out. Scattered and battered, his body parts lay. Then silence, silence, till the break of day. Then an eye and a hand in the seagull's nest moved together to find the rest. A headlamp eye and a crab-like hand moving together over the sand. Bit by bit, each piece was found till the Iron Man stood and looked around. But still he strode and searched the beach for an ear that was lost and out of reach. Was it the sea that had stolen his ear? For the Iron Man turned and showing no fear, he walked in the sea deeper and deeper. Though the water rose where the shore grew steeper, his eyes blazed red and his eyes blazed green, then the Iron Man could no more be seen. We now have 10 comprehension questions about the poem I've just read to you. Feel free to go back and listen again before answering if you need to. The first question we will answer together. What does the phrase rigid and stiff suggest about how the Iron Man stood? So you need to remember to phrase the question in your answer so that it is a full sentence. We would phrase the question by saying, the phrase rigid and stiff suggests that the Iron Man is standing up tall and straight. For the rest of the questions, make sure you pause the video to write your answers down. The swell of the tide. Feature of the ocean does the phrase describe? Select one of these options below. The tide retreating, the waves, boats coming into view, birds swooping to catch fish. Where did the Iron Man come from? What part of the Iron Man's body broke first? At what time of day did the Iron Man start to rebuild himself? What part of his body had the Iron Man lost? Who stole the Iron Man's ear? How could his eyes blaze red and his eyes blaze green? Find three pairs of rhyming couplets from the poem. Remember rhyming couplets are lines which are after one another that end with words which rhyme. Do you think the Iron Man will find his ear and why? Well done year three, you've done fantastic work. Don't forget to send it to me and Mr Macram on the Padlet. Well done.